After testing out the new Hilder's Request content on the Valheim public server, I started to think more and more about what would make these quests feel a bit more rewarding. After you complete Hilder's Request and return all three of her stolen chests, you unlock her full inventory at her store. There's a whole lot of new stuff, and it's all pretty cool. The new clothing items look nice, and the fireworks, also cool. Barber Station, the Iron Pit, it's not bad. They're great additions, but I can't help but feel a lack of substance in the reward. Once you defeat a mini-boss like Brenna, she drops her brass chest, and this chest isn't exactly something you can just take with you in a portal. You have to lug it around with you all the way back over the ground and through the sea on your boat, all the while it has a weight of 200. And you have to go through this process three times. One chest in each of the areas. If you've never yet been tempted to throw in some dev commands and fly around to get where you want to go, you're sure to be tempted now. So. What would make all this effort worth it? I really got to thinking about this, and I think I have some great ideas that are specific to the four mini-bosses you encounter on these quests. Brenna, Girafa, Thunger, and Zill. Brenna is the first mini-boss, and definitely the easiest. She's designed to be the first one players take on, being in the Black Forest. If you take the respective biome gear along, the fight could be pretty tough. When you kill Brenna, aside from the satisfaction of your glorious triumph, you get the Brass Chest and Brenna's Flaming Skull Trophy. That's pretty Pretty much it. Nothing too fancy, and nothing particularly special. I think it would be especially cool if she also dropped her sword. Brenna's flaming sword could be the first two-handed sword in the game, and I think it should have a swing speed somewhere between the Krom and the Mistwalker. Not too slow, but not too fast. But let's go beyond that. You just defeated a mini-boss, engulfed in flames. What if this sword had a special ability that you could activate maybe once per 30 minutes, kind of like a Forsaken power? I have two ideas for abilities for Brenna's sword. You activate a powerful area of effect attack that stabs your sword into the ground just like she does, and flames shoot out, burning your enemies. Or the second option, maybe the sword gets engulfed in flame for 30 seconds, and that burns your enemies. I think being able to pick up and use Brenna's sword would make this particular quest feel a bit more worthwhile. Girafa is a frosty werewolf-like monster. Unlike cultists, she produces frosty damage, not fire. Cold, not hot. Freezy, not flamey. And if we look at her, she doesn't exactly look like she has any weapons, does she? No. So what would be a good drop for her? Maybe when she's killed, she could drop the only item she's wearing, her cloak. And this cloak could have some very special frosty abilities. First off, Girafa's cloak should definitely grant resistance to frost and freezing damage, which is handy in the mountains. But I think it should also have a special power, something similar to what we see Girafa use. I think maybe a player wearing Girafa's cloak would have the ability to produce a large, circular, freezy sweep, just like we see here. It would have the same 30-minute cooldown or something, and maybe it would slow enemies like the Frostner does with its frost damage, but I think it'd be best if it was a little more powerful in the freeze damage. Either way, I think this is a pretty good idea that would make killing Garafa and lugging the chest all throughout Valheim a little more rewarding. Thunger is a giant, dark, fueling berserker, also known as a goblin brute. These guys have massive clubs they love to swing around and slam on the ground. So what if, after killing Thunger, he drops his giant club? It would probably have to shrink down a bit for a player to reasonably carry it and use it, but I think adding this as a weapon would be a pretty awesome addition to the game. Thunger's club would basically be a large, two-handed club that has the same aesthetic as we see him wield. I could see it swinging a bit slow and unwieldy, kind of like battle axes, but maybe for the secondary attack it could be a large, sledge-like slam on the ground, or maybe a full 360 twirl, knocking enemies back like an at gear, but definitely much slower. But I do have a great idea for the special ability we can activate every 30 minutes. I call it Berserker's Rage. Basically, you roar loudly and slam the club against the ground uncontrollably for three hits, just like a fueling Berserker. This would have a similar effect to a sledge, but maybe a bit more powerful, and it's completely out of your control. You can't stop it once you activate it. You will slam the club into the ground three times and cause absolute chaos. Once you defeat Thunger, you'll have to deal with Zill. Zill is a powerful, fueling shaman who throws fireballs at you and loves to try to pop shields on himself when he can. 
So I have two ideas for this guy's drop. The first idea is that Zill would drop a necklace or a talisman that would give the player the ability to put a shield on themselves that lasts about one minute. Kind of like the same thing we have with the Staff of Protection, but this one wouldn't use either. The second idea for Zill's drop would be Zill's staff, like the one he's carrying. This staff would allow the player to shoot fireballs. I'm thinking this would have a charge of about three per hour or maybe per 30 minutes. And like the talisman idea, it wouldn't use either, but rather have its own special charge. But I think adding this magical ability would be a pretty awesome way to introduce players to wielding magic even before unlocking either weapons in the game. So there we have it, four cool new additional items to add to the game that would greatly aid in giving the players a true sense of worth and sense of accomplishment after completing Hilder's quests. They're specific to their respective mini-bosses and wouldn't make their biomes feel too overpowered. Maybe. These are just ideas. I think they give the players something fun and unique to look forward to and eventually play with, and they would do a really great job at giving me, at least, a reason to go about the grind and lug those heavy chests across the vast land of Valheim. It would truly make Hilder's quests worth it individually. Maybe these items wouldn't be best as drops, because then you might not have much incentive to bring the chest all the way back to Hilder, but maybe they could be purchased from Hilder after you give her the chest, like the items were in the missing chests. But I think drops make sense too, because the enemies were using them as they died. So what do you think of these ideas? If you have any additional thoughts, please feel free to share them in the comments section below. Like the video and subscribe if you want. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.